What's up all of the early traders and investors, we have gone through a tough week, but the market is still very bullish. Today, there are so many exciting news that we want to share with you, so stick with us until the end. 3 Signs That Bitcoin Will Not Break The All-Time Peak Another ancient BTC whale came back to life. And the scam app that bypassed Google. Don't forget to watch this video carefully if you want some clues and hints on the market. Even though we ended the week with the BTC price hitting the $64,000 milestone, the highest in two months, experts made some new predictions and it's going to disappoint you a little bit because of these three reasons by expert Marcel Peckman. Disclaimer, this is just a personal opinion and it's not our investment advice. First thing first, the traders are not very optimistic. Despite the fact that the BTC price is still going up, these are fewer retail activities on Coinbase app, as the traders are afraid of another recession, when the BTC price could not reach $70,000 last week. Moreover, the stock markets like the San P500 may be happy for the bullish signals of the crypto market, but that doesn't apply to the Bitcoin's harsh performance, as the traders prioritize its scarcity and sovereignty. Secondly, investors' lack of conviction also makes the BTC price cannot go higher in a short time. Normally, the contracts trade at a 5-10% to annualized premium in neutral markets, but data shows that despite a price rally toward $66,000, the premium stabilized at 6%. Institutional traders are cautious and have gotten a more neutral stance, suggesting fear of missing out without strong confidence in a sustained price rise. And that's obviously a bearish signal. And the last reason, the expert blamed it on China. The rise of BTC price recently is thanks to the trade of ETFs, as well as the inflows of the institutional investors. However, if you're in mainland China, it works the other way around. Currently, excessive demand causes stablecoins to trade at a premium of 1.5% or higher compared to the official US dollar rate, whereas bear markets result in a discount. The USDT premium in China has remained below parity for the past two weeks, indicating bearish sentiment. This metric contradicts the recent appetite for spot ETFs in the United States and further strengthens the bear's argument of a lack of investor demand. While the BTC price is somehow still increasing, so many old BTC wallets suddenly have been resurrected. In the past few weeks, over $80 million worth of BTC had been reactivated from the old wallets from 15 years ago. Now, another whale from 2014 joined the chat as it is having nearly $10 million worth of BTC, which is 120 times higher than the original worth of 80,000 in 2014. As the giants are eyeing on the old BTC whales, it is still yet to have a large impact on the markets. While we have so many games on Telegram or certified crypto wallets on your phones, there is still one scam app that turned Google into a real clown. IT security firm Checkpoint Research has found a crypto wallet drainer that used advanced evasion techniques on the Google Play Store to steal over $70,000 in five months. The ridiculous thing is, the app has 10,000 downloads, 4.8 stars rating by nearly 100 users, but all of the ratings mention the features that have totally nothing to do with crypto. Anyways, the app disguised as a fake wallet connect protocol which the original app works as a space to connect wallets to the decentralized finance applications. It gradually stole the tokens from the users, from the most expensive to the cheaper ones. It went on the Google Play Store on March 21, and within six months, 150 victims reported to have been scammed over $70,000. It isn't the first time scamming risks like this has happened, but it raises a warning on the app stores, where the giants like Apple and Google must know and prevent the malicious applications. Google has yet to made a comment about this issue. But players, always be mindful of the applications that ask for permissions to gain access to your wallets and personal information. Our game, Chick Coop on Telegram, always respects players' privacy. No download, no private information required, so you can enjoy our game with no worries. And that's the end of today's news. Hope you have a great day, and remember to subscribe to our channels, so you won't miss any market hints and clues every day. Bye-bye.